what's up everybody welcome back today's special eros gyros whatever you want to call them that's what we're making i was watching mark over at sauce stash and he did a great recipe for tzatziki sauce and another one for pita bread which i'll link both of those below no point in redoing those i'm just going to use his recipe the only change i made was on the pita bread i did it in the kitchenaid mixer because i'm lazy and it turned out fantastic so we're gonna take we're gonna make the meatloaf that goes inside the gyro serve it with a little feta cheese a tzatziki sauce lettuce tomato and red onion it's gonna be fantastic so we're gonna start with the meatloaf here we go all right so first thing we do is finally chop an onion and this is the strange part of this recipe what, you, what you're gonna do is try and drain the onion so all I got is a couple paper towels here and you're just gonna wrap the onion up like this your shredded onion and you're just gonna try and squeeze it's amazing how much liquid comes out of here but you try and squeeze most of the liquid out that's quite a bit out of a little half an onion. It's amazing. It makes a big difference. Anyways, we're going to throw this. You're going to need a big bowl. So we're going to throw this in this big stainless bowl. That's going to be the start of our meat for our euros. All right, we're going to add to that one pound of ground lamb. Add to that one pound of ground beef. All right, we're going to add to that one tablespoon of fresh minced garlic and I'll tell you what I did both the garlic and the onions in my old slap chop here which I'll link below awesome product but uh, I'll tell you what I don't know if it's a time of year or what but those are both super super strong all right now we're gonna add teaspoon of oregano teaspoon of marjoram a teaspoon of rosemary a teaspoon of ground cumin a teaspoon of thyme, a teaspoon of black pepper, and finally a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. All right, the next step is to just mix this. So you can use a wooden spoon, or I think it's easier just to wash your hands real good and just get in. You really got to mix it up, and it's just easier to do it this way. And you can wash your hands after. Boy, I'll tell you, this smells. Amazing, so many spices in here. It's gonna be good. What you really want to do is just mix it up real well, get it all mixed together so that the spices kind of settle into the meat and uh, just get her mixed up good. Once that's all done, you're just gonna cover it in plastic wrap and let it sit in the fridge for a couple hours. All you want to do is give it a chance for the uh, all that flavor to kind of get in the meat. So there it goes off the fridge. Okay, so here we are two hours later. Here's what our beef looks like, our beef lamb spice combination. Now what you're going to do, this sounds weird, but it's the way it goes. You're going to take this and you're going to put it in a food processor. And you're going to blend it. It doesn't take long, but it's going to turn into sort of a paste. Sounds goofy, but that's what you do. Alright, once it's in the processor, all you can do is pulse it a little bit. It's going to turn it into almost like a paste. I'm going to have to use a spoon and kind of get it back down there a little bit. It doesn't take long, you don't need to overdo it. Alright, so that's what it looks like. I don't know if you can see the consistency in there, but it's kind of like almost like a paste. Then what you can do is get a loaf pan and spoon this into the loaf pan. Get rid of the blade. Oh man, this smells good. It doesn't look that good yet, but... Then you want to kind of pack this down and try and get all the air out. 
Otherwise you can have air pockets in your hero meat. You can just try and get it as smooth as you can. That would be perfect. All right, so there's what it looks like once you get to that stage. So next up, we take a roasting pan, put a towel in the bottom. So we have our meat in the roasting pan with a towel in the bottom. Then you're just gonna add water, trying to flood the kitchen here. Just add boiling water and it should come up about halfway up the meat. So that's a little light, I'm gonna add a little bit more. So there we go, we're gonna add about another two and a half cups in this case. So there we go, now we set that in. It's about halfway up the meat is where the water line is. We're gonna throw this in a preheated 325 degree oven for about 45 minutes. All right, so that's what it looks like. Pulled out of the oven, drain the fat. We're gonna let it cool for about 15, 20 minutes before we slice it up. All right, so here we go. Here's our uh, meat. We're gonna thin slice this. The, the consistency is a lot different than meatloaf. That's why I think pureeing it kind of made it a little firmer, more like a uh, like the the meat you get for euros. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe it's the lamb. But man, does this stuff smell awesome and it tastes delicious. This is going to be perfect in our euros. So there it is, fresh out of the skillet, homemade euro. All right, here we go. I'll tell you what, this smells incredible. This, uh, I haven't figured out how to do it. When you order a euro in a restaurant, they make it in like a conical shape, like ice cream cone kind of. Mine always end up more like a taco. So this has just got um, the meat, red onions, lettuce, tomato, and I got some locally uh, made feta cheese with the tzatziki sauce. There goes nothing. That is incredible. I'll tell you what I love about Euros. It's a combination of flavors. You get the soft, kind of chewiness of the bread, which sets it off. You get the freshness of the vegetables and the tzatziki sauce, it's a very fresh taste to it. The meat is it has a ton of flavor. It's not very salty, but it's got a ton of flavor with all the spices. And then the saltiness of the feta cheese. And when you bring that all together, oh man. The red onions get that little bit of bite. Mm. I'll tell you, there's nothing like an Eero. Great recipe, easy to make. Check the link below. I'll put a link to uh, Mark's videos on the pita bread and the tzatziki sauce. And Mark, when you fall off the vegetarian wagon, I'll be there to catch you. See you next time. Make sure to like and subscribe.